even though it's small, it's really toy grade, I would say. But by each thing having such replacement parts readily available, and you know, it's aftermarket parts you can buy for anything. So, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of considered in between hobby and toy grade. I, I don't know. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Urban Legend RC video. On this video, I found the most inexpensive boat on the market. This is the EB-02 made by Ishin. This is the Ishin EB-02. I bought this thing for like $22. I'm going to put the price up right now. Bing! Oh my goodness, guys. From all the reviews and some of the videos I've seen, you know, everybody said that this thing is absolutely awesome. So, you know, I had to pick it up for that price. $22. Come on, guys. I mean, I'm just saying. $22. Yeah, you can't go wrong with $22. Bucks, right? So, let's open this thing up. As you can see, the Ishin EB02. I'm supposed to have the red version, like this right here. But I do see they have the blue picture on the other side of the box. I do, after ordering the red one, and looking back at this one right here, if I painted those windows black, this boat would look absolutely awesome. I don't know if I paint these red windows black. I think that, that can stay like that, honestly. It looks pretty good. But I may customize it and paint those windows black. We'll see. So let's do a quick unboxing. Let's get it. Check it out. Here it is, guys. Comes with, of course, a little stand. A little tip to protect the front of the boat if you're riding in a, you know, uh, driving the boat, the boat in a rocky area. The charger for the battery. It's on the inside. So let's go ahead and open this up, put the stand together, and uh, get this thing out, put it on the stand. The tip goes on the front of the boat to protect it. When you're riding in a rocky area, you know, you don't want to crack your hole on your boat. Of course, here's your controller. It's, it does require batteries. This does require batteries. Three double A batteries are required let's no, let's open up this inside let's check it out that's your warning label please put on hatch cover press uh, back and tail covers uh, to prevent water entering the cabin so this is the hatch cover has a rubber seal around it so this is what actually keeps the water out this is just a canopy to cover that so set that to the side here's all your paperwork instructions uh, be careful when you install the battery Okay, so you gotta put the boat in the water to power it on because it does have a, a sensor down here on the bottom. This little sensor right here. That right there has to touch water for the uh, boat to actually bind to the remote. Here's the little 2S LiPo. Look like my tail rudder is already crooked, so I'm probably gonna have to adjust that servo. 
Can I adjust it? Yeah, I think it's a screw in the side. I can take that. I'm definitely going to adjust the, make sure it's straight before I even take it out. I'm going to put some batteries in it, see if it lines up. I'm looking to see if I can see what the ESC and receiver look like because you already know yeah it's a little small boat I got it for basically next to nothing and I'm already thinking about a brushless upgrade to go in here yeah you know I'm trying to put more power to the ground on this bad boy but yeah this is the boat I'm gonna charge up my lipo and we're gonna take this thing out and test it out. I think I got some batteries somewhere. So get me some batteries, put me some batteries in this thing, charge up this. Read over my instruction manual carefully, make sure I don't miss anything. I've already put the hatch, uh, put the, took the hatch off, assembled the stand. This is the remote right here. This is how you do everything, okay? Forward and back, right and left. Turn right trim, turn left trim, okay? Forward trim. Backward. Check it out backward trim instead of backward some of these uh, instruction manuals yeah the interpretation is sometimes a little off but you get the idea of what's going on And since this is, this is an Ishin product, this is a big company. They got all the parts and the part numbers right here. In case you have any problems with anything, I guess you can order replacement parts. So that's good. So this is, I mean, even though it's small, it's really toy grade, I would say. But by Ishin having such replacement parts readily available and you know it's aftermarket parts you can buy for anything so I mean it's kind of it's kind of considered in between hobby and toy grade I, I don't know what do you think let me know in the comments below top hobby grade or toy grade but uh that's pretty much all I got for y'all man this is just an unboxing this is just an unboxing and uh on the next video we're gonna go out and drive this thing because we got some snow supposed to come in later on today or tomorrow. Hopefully I can get out and drive this thing. Maybe I may be able to charge it up and get it out today. It all depends, but uh, we'll see. If I can get it charged up, I'm gonna try to get it out today or tomorrow morning before the snow comes. You know, hopefully it doesn't come tonight, but we'll see. Because I just I definitely want to get out and test this thing out. If I would have known the boat was coming, I went to went I would not have went to the lake earlier today because I went out there and actually flew one of my drones. Well actually two of my drones at the lake. But uh that's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. That's a little grease on the hull, I guess from assembly. But uh that's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. Until next time. You know what it is. Get out there and drive your RCs. Drive your boats. Fly your drones. And we'll see you on these two videos right here. Peace.